What's up, Go Getters? It is Alice Gordon here. I've been getting a lot of questions about this, so I wanted to do a video for 2022 how you can share your Canva templates on Etsy for 2022. So, in, in this video, um, I'm going to go through how you can make something that you created in Etsy into a shareable template. And then from there, um, I'm going to actually talk a little bit about how you are going to give um, any of your um, Etsy customers instructions for downloading this template as well. So let's get into it. So what's up, Go-Getters? A big, huge welcome to my channel. If you are new here, welcome, welcome to the Go-Getter tribe. On this channel, I do everything from business, marketing tips, motivation, and the spiritual stuff too. As you know, success is an inside out job. So I'm gonna give you what you need on this channel to reach your greatest success. So if that sounds like your jam, feel free to stick around. If this is the content you wanna see more of on this channel, don't forget to give this content a thumbs up and drop me a comment below because every time you engage with this channel you help us to grow and you help to show this video to more and more people out there in the world so thank you so much for your support so let's get right into it guys I have several other Canva videos on my channel I'll be sure to definitely link some of them in the description box there are plenty of them but I wanted to revisit this one because I know that every year um, Canva changes the way that their platform looks and some people are getting confused with how they need to share their template so if you are an Etsy seller or if you are a coach or a business owner in general and you want to create something in Canva but you want to sell it as a template that other people can edit um, let's deal with that so first off I want to share one of the questions I've been getting is if someone is not a paid Canva user and I use um, paid Canva elements in my template are they gonna have to pay for them my answer to that would be yes they are gonna have to pay for them in order for someone to use your template um, they are going to have to make a copy of it to an actual Canva account so that it copies it to that account and if any of the elements guys are paid elements they are going to have to upgrade to a free account in order to download and save those paid elements so keep that in mind when you are creating your design if you want anybody to be able to download them, use all free elements. If you want to just cater to people who have paid Canva accounts, just make sure that you let them know in your instructions that some of the elements may be paid. You can either replace them or upgrade your Canva account. This leads to the next question that I've been getting. If someone buys my template and they start editing it, will that change my original design or will um, other people also see their edits and it just get crazy it'll be a lot of people editing on the same document if you have sold your document and you're seeing edits from different um, purchasers of your document that means that you have done this process incorrectly and i'm going to show you what you most likely did so no one should be editing or changing the same document once it's sold because anyone who purchases your Canva template needs to make a copy of that template to their own account. If you are sharing and creating the same, the correct link for your template, Canva is going to prompt them to make a copy. That's how you know that you're doing the right thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. Um, so this is what you need to do. So right now in front of me, I have a social media template that was designed by somebody on my team for my business. Okay. And what I'm going to do is let's just say that I was selling social media templates on Etsy or wherever else. And I want to make this template um, available to whoever purchases this so that they can edit it on their own so the first thing that I'm gonna do is go up to this share button at the top okay and then from there I am going to this so this is what a lot of you I believe are doing where it says share this design you're going ahead and changing this to anyone with the link anyone with the link can edit and you're copying this link and this is the link that you're providing to your purchasers this is the incorrect way to do it guys this is for if I want to share this particular document with my assistant and I want her to be able to get in here and edit this document that's how I would do that 
Okay, so I would say, you know, she can view, comment, or edit when I give her this link. That's not what we want to do. What we want to do is scroll down a little bit, down to more. Now, like I said, I don't know how it, this is going to look inside of your account, okay? I'm not sure because all of our accounts may be showing up differently. I'm not sure, but for 2022, this is how my account is looking. So I'm just going to scroll down and go to more. Now, it opens up way more options when I click more. So what you want to do is go to template link. This is what we want. We want a template link. We want to share it as a template, right? So we're going to click here. Now, Canva now provides you with a, a link. Okay, you're going to copy this link. And this is a link that you are going to provide to your buyers on Etsy or wherever else you're selling. So Canva tells you right here, anyone with this link can use this design as a template sign in is required but you won't know who has made copies of the design so what's going to happen and i'm just going to show you what's going to happen we're going to copy this link i'm going to go over here and i'm going to paste this link in so that we can see what it looks like so as you can see a template was created by this person was shared with you start designing now so the person will click use template just like this and hopefully it just won't take me so what happens is when the person creates use template, Canva automatically copies this template into that person's Canva account. So see how it says copy of at the beginning? Okay, so I want you guys to see that. I'm gonna need to delete it now because I'm gonna have doubles in my account. But I just wanted you to see that, okay? When they click this button, Canva automatically is going to make a copy into their account. So the person will be required to make a copy. So for those of you who are wondering, well, okay, I get it. Now I've created this template and now I've created this link. How am I now going to make this available to my purchasers? How am I going to share the link? Well, what you can do is it, Etsy gives you a place to paste the download link. You can do it that way or you can create a PDF document, which is what I do when people buy templates for me. I give them instructions. Um, and I tell them exactly what they need to access it, how they need to access it, and where, okay? And I will paste a link into the PDF. That way they can click it with full instructions, they understand what's going on, and then they'll get to the document from there. Um, and if you wanna know how to create a PDF inside of Canva and save your documents as PDFs, I have another video for that and I'll be sure to link some of these videos below. So I hope that this helps you guys to clear some things up. I apologize for some of the older videos on my channel because they haven't been updated. They still work, but they're older. So your Canva account just may look differently. So I'm sorry if that's confused some people, but I hope that this video will give you guys some clarity on how to do this process. So thanks guys for listening and don't forget to like this video and drop me some comments below. Be blessed guys. I'll see you on the next one.